Welcome to Insights. I'm Eric. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to do an update on soybeans. We're going to do a quick soybeans review and then we're going to tag along and uh, update the report because of the, the market action. It's really taking place across the grains market. It's not just restricted to soybeans, but it is uh, certainly interesting. It's uh, taking over the internet. Anyone who's interested in the agricultural commodities and the grain markets are certainly either uh, uh, excited for the bullish action or um, really struggling with uh, what's taking place on, on, on the upside if you're bearish. Uh, let's take a look in terms of the evolution of the trade uh, and just do it quickly and then I'm going to look at the longer term database and then I'm going to have to transition over to the report section. Every one of the updates are in the, in the different markets still really stands. We're going to take a look at soybeans, but we're going to also look at wheat and corn, uh, the daily cycles in particular. As the three time frames are all aligned, you can see all arrows up. Uh, they're all triple. Uh, um, you can see by the cycle scores, we're late, mid, and mid. The lowest score is still soybeans. Again, it's the play, but it's losing some of that status. It, 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 the weekly trend did reset. It's, it's reset eight weeks ago. And now we're uh, kind of losing some of the negative numbers and the black uh, 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 coloration. It's going to blue, which means that we're reaching the mid cycle already uh, in terms of uh, wheat and corn. We haven't touched any of this stuff. It's getting worse in terms of the fuel uh, tank of cycles. Uh, we're, we're in the two to three range, which means we're in this yellow territory In the orange territory. We're getting to minimum fuel, which makes these markets dangerous. Uh, soybeans is the least dangerous of all three of them, but corn and soybeans are going hand in hand. Um, it's unlikely that uh, corn's going to reset uh, with, with soybeans. This number here is uh, is picking up. It, it was the sluggish of all three. I would go take a look at the corn reports in particular and the wheat reports talk about the longer term databases when we look at the uh, monthly primary trends, but these are stretching. What we're talking about here, and this is where everyone's trying to call a top, and this is this is a dangerous exercise uh, with the daily trends, and here's the daily trends for, for all three of the grain markets. Here's the price cycle, I'll highlight those. Uh, the, the most extended right now is soybeans at 1.1. .1. The time cycles here and the most extended is 44 days at 1.15. Now, how extended are these? Now, in terms of one, we're in the we're in the green area under the curve in terms of the cycle. The normal cycles are all here and low risk is anything here and below. Now we're starting to get higher risk. Uh, crossing over to one escalates to the next. The risks are increasing as we move through the through the uh, uh, what I would consider this to be a green color. We're going to, if it continues on, the rally continues unperturbed and we reach some of the reversals we talked about in the soybeans market. And again, I'd go watch the so latest soybeans report update before this one. It'll clear a lot of that up in terms of where we're headed in terms of SOYB. It's, we're, we're likely going to take that first target out and or take it and challenge that. We're going to find the second target is a high probability too. And the third target, which I'm not really talking about here, is a much uh, rarer probability. It's probably not going to happen without some sort of consolidation. But in terms of whether we reach target one or two, and you can go review that, really depends on how much time we have in terms of these cycles. We're at one and 1.1 1, 1 .1 on both of them. That may look opposing. It's red. Yes, I am that this what the computer's there for. It's to warn us that we are now under the green part of the curve. I've seen daily in, in volatile markets easily push into the yellow and orange. I've seen five, six, seven, eight standard deviations in volatile markets like Bitcoin and silver. I'm not saying that soybeans is going to go to there. At some point, a professional trader is going to have to recognize that the risks are too high, whether you're in here in the in, in the green or you decide it's in the yellow or in the orange, which then into strength, people take some profits. I mean, this is not an all or none proposition. The evolution of the trade is a primary trend following technique. We're concerned about these cycles the most. 
these cycles the second most and these the third. But when they really push to the limit, two, three, four, five, we've seen five standard deviations here before. In the May run up in particular, uh, I said it was time to take some money off the table. For sure, at, at, when anytime you cross above two and three is pretty risky. Uh, we're not above two yet. Uh, that doesn't mean that we can't curl back and and fall apart. The path of least resistance is up, and we're going to probably go up until we reach the targets on SOYB, either one or two. And we're going to have to watch these, and we're going to have to watch energy in particular. Energy is probably going to change a lot, but we do have to dissipate this minus 26 and 28. It's plus 28. That's going to take a lot of work to pull that down. It tells us that we could have a rally easily within the seasonal strength period. So these are the this, this is the setup. I know everyone's rushing to call the top and running to sell out, but these cycles can and these they can extend. They can extend. They will be consistent within um, the, the price targets that we laid out already. I'd watch every video and every report that you uh, subscribe to and are participating in because they all tie into one another and they will all explain these markets. I can't do these videos over and over again. Uh, and rehash because they'll just be too long and people will tune out. So this is the, sand, uh, the setup for uh, soybeans. Um, this is the review that we're talking about. Can this go higher? How high does this really look? Well, we're going to have to expend into the report section to do that. So I want to thank everyone who's watching this. Keep an eye on the grain market and grains in general, these three major ones. It's it's probably going to get more exciting than this because that's kind of how markets go. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. If not, stick around, come back, and uh, watch the soybeans uh, report update that we're going to do.